we'll first define a bivariate uh, uh, random vector, which is um, a random vector with two uh, random variables in it. So what is a bivariate uh, distribution? So for two random variables x and y, the joint a bivariate, so sometimes we don't say bivariate because we have two. Bivariate means two random variables. Distribution of x of y of their pair of random variables defined by these. So the joint CDF, joint cumulative uh, distribution. So this is called joint uh, CDF. Uh, means that the probability that these random variables is smaller than or equal to these and these random variables is smaller than or equal to these one. Obviously, you can extend this definition into three random variables, four. So the joint means that jointly this event and this event happen. So here we have and intersection. So this and uh, for abbreviation, we put a comma here. So which is basically to say that the random pair x, y happens, this random point happens to this area. So here this is point x. So uh, it should be bel below the, um, on the left side of this line. Uh, and uh, this is y, uh, this is, uh, and below this line. So the intersection will be this shaded area. So basically, this means that the random pair x and y, this vector, falls in this dxy, and this dxy is basically this shaded area. So this is the, the joint distribution, or this, uh, the distribution of this joint bivariate, and we denote it by this. Obviously, because this is probability, it... Uh, should satisfy all the properties of the property measure that we have uh, defined on early chapters. So uh, the properties of the joint uh, cumulative distribution function um, are as follows. For instance, if you put uh, x minus infinity and keep y, or if you put y minus infinity, this uh, set dxy becomes empty and the property should be zero. So on the margin of uh, the side x, so if you have this uh, plane xy, so if you look uh, from this side, the, at, the, at minus infinity, this is x minus infinity, okay? the function should be zero. At the bottom margin, if you look at this function from, this is, let's say, your eyes, okay? This is your nose, and then you're smiling, okay? Uh, at this side, or either at this side, if you look here, uh, okay, so what we see here is uh, zero. So this function starts at zero at minus infinity. Uh, any of the two arguments if our, they are minus infinity, the function should be zero. And if both of them, if both x and y are large enough, the function should be equal to one because you will say that this is equal to probability that x is smaller than plus infinity and y is smaller than plus infinity. Obviously, these cover everything, so it should be equal to one. So these properties are easy to prove. So prob uh, probability that uh, so we have many properties we can we can say and we can uh, we can prove so if if I want to calculate uh, probability of this event probability that x is bigger is smaller than these and y being in a given interval so what I do here is that I come to a x y plane in this area in this area. And then uh, in shaded area, I draw the area. So x, I put this point x. So the random variable should be on the left side of this one. And the y, I have y2 here and then I y1. So uh, it should be below y2 and above y1. So the intersection will be this uh, uh, shaded area. Uh, remember that this point x can be equal x, so this line is included. This y is not equal to y1, so this line is not included. And this line is included. So this shaded area, this goes to infinity, but here is bounded. So probability of being in this um, 
band is equal to this property that we want to calculate. So property of D1. So this is the shaded area is D1. And obviously is equal to we have two corners. So is the CDF, the joint CDF at the corner, the upper corner, minus the joint CDF at the lower corner. Because D1 is equal to this whole area, if I include this one, minus the lower one. So this is similarly for um, you could you could define um, uh, you could say x being x1 and x2. So you could have another this uh, red shaded area and you could see that is equal to joint CDF at this corner minus joint CDF at this corner. Or you could say that both x and y, x being between x1 and x2, y between y1 and y2. So you will have a rectangle with this one. Remember that I do not have equality here. I don't have equality here. And I have equality here. So this line and this line are included. And these dashed lines are excluded. So obviously, probability of this event is equal to the sum of the probability at these two corners, at this corner and this corner, minus the sum of probabilities at this corner and minus this one. So, so you have four corners, four probabilities, you add these two, you subtract these two, and then get the uh, probability of being in the uh, gray area. Remember that always the upper lines <coughs> and the, the, the right line are included, the lower one, because the upper one is included and the lower one are not included. So, um, so probability, <coughs> the fourth one is equal to this, this expression. So from this, so these are the proper, important properties of the joint cumulative distribution function, which allows me to calculate uh, probability of the random pair, this is x, this is y, being in any other arbitrary area. So suppose that this shaded area is any d, x, and y. It's, so this is any, any other region. So I want to calculate probability of random pair x and y being in this arbitrary d. So I want to see this is equal to what? Using the joint CDF.